I'm Rosie and this is Henry Cooper, my old teddy bear, and we would like to welcome you to our front room for yet another Rhyme Time from North Somerset Library Service. Now, if you've ever been to one of our Rhyme Times in the libraries, in any of our libraries, you will always have had a grown-up with you, whether that's your mum, dad, granny, grandpa, childminder, whoever, and they're there to look after you and to join in with the rhymes and the bouncing and the actions. I really hope you've got a grown-up there with you at the minute because rhymes are just so much better if you share them with somebody. That's why I've got Henry Cooper. He's here to share it with me. He's going to bounce on my knee and he's going to join in with the actions and the thing he likes best, he's going to wave to you. And he's definitely going to wave to you through the first song, which is Hello Everyone. He's going to wave hello. Do wave back to Henry, won't you? Because he loves that. It's his favourite bit. Are you ready? Just sing it once through. One, two, three. Hello everyone, how are you today? Very well, thank you, we're okay. We've just begun. We're going to have some fun. It's music, rhythm and rhyme. Very good. So we've said hello to Henry and now we're going to say hello to all our fingers and our thumbs one at a time starting, well two at a time, starting with Tommy Thumb, then Peter Pointer, Finger Tall, Ruby Ring, Baby Small and then we'll get them all out at once and give them a shake. We'll hide them behind our backs first, hide them, no peeking, get them out one at a time. Are you ready? One, two, three. Tommy Thumb, Tommy Thumb, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Now Peter Pointer, Peter Pointer, Peter Pointer, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Finger tall, finger tall, finger tall, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Now Ruby Ring, that's Ruby Ring's a bit difficult, but we'll... You've probably got bendier fingers than me. Ready? Ruby ring, ruby ring, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Now baby small, baby small, baby small, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Now all of them and give them a big shake. Fingers all, fingers all, where are you? Here we are, here we are, how do you do? Very good. Um, now we're going to use those fingers and those hands to go zoom, zoom, zoom to the moon. We'll have our zooming hands and we'll also pretend our arm and our other hand is a rocket ship and we'll climb up the rocket ship. Then we we'll count down, that's the best bit, five, four, three, two, one and blast off. Okay, get your zoom, zoom hands ready first. One, two, three. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to get there soon. If you'd like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship and zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Now count down with Henry. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Did you blast off high? I hope you did. So we're going to do it again, but a little bit different. We're going to do um, down in the spaceship, not much room. Try and get very small, pretend you're squashed into a spaceship. Down in the spaceship, not much room, waiting for the lift off. And then we count down again. Five, four, three, two, one, zoom. Shall we try that one? Snuggle up small, ready? Down in the spaceship, not much room, waiting for the lift off. Five, four, three, two, one, zoom! Very good. Okay, so we've counted down from five with the last two. And what we're going to do now, I think we'll have five fat peas in the pea pod press. So your fingers are your peas, curl them up small, put your hand over the other hand over the top, that's your pea pod, and they're going to grow. And they're going to grow until they get so big they pop with an almighty pop. Ready? Hide your peas. One, two, three. Five fat peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, and so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they would not stop until one day that pod went pop. Very 
good. Well done. Okay, um, pea green, that's what made me think of this little parrot here. Look, he's green. He's green and this one is red and they're going to be my two little dicky birds sitting on the wall. You can use your fingers. There we go, I've got two little parrots ready. One, two, three. Two little dicky birds sitting on a wall. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away Peter, fly away Paul. Come back Peter, come back Paul. I'm going to do the same thing but with frogs. They're going to be Jessie and Jake and be swimming in a lake. Though I admit, I keep getting muddled up and they keep flying my frogs, but I will try and make them swim in the lake. Let's get them on my finger. Right, Jessie, Jake, ready? Hold your fingers up again, your frogs now. One, two, three. Two little froggies swimming in a lake. One named Jessie and one named Jake. Swim away, Jessie, swim away, Jake. Swim back, Jessie, and swim back, Jake. Cute, aren't they? Now, we went for a walk at the weekend, Simon behind the camera, me, and our big grown-up daughter, and we took a picnic with us. And we were just going to put our picnic blanket down and sit on it when my daughter shouted, Frog! And sure enough, in the grass was a very glossy, speckled little frog. And when he saw us, he sort of lumbered away like that into the hedge. It was lovely. It made me think about frogs, how in fairy stories, often frogs turn into handsome princes. I've never known that happen in real life. Simon, were you ever a frog? No. <laughs> no, funny that, isn't it? He's never a frog. And the little frog in the hedge certainly stayed very froggy the whole time. Um, but now, by the magic of Simon's camera, you, before your very eye to eye, I'm going to turn into a frog, kinda. Are you ready? One, two, three. Hooray! How do I look? I know how I look, actually. I know I look very silly. But you know what? I don't care. I don't care. What rhyme would be best for me now, dressed like a galumphing great frog? I think it's galump went the little green frog, don't you? I know I'm not little, but we'll do that because I can certainly galump along. Um, so join me, we'll galump along with the little green frog and then we will go tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la. We'll just do the frog first, I think. We won't do the, the other animals because we've got lots of froggy rhymes to uh, fit in. Are you ready? I've got Henry there, so I'm going to go lump for long. Ready? One, two, three. Go lump went the little green frog one day. Go lump went the little green frog. Go lump went the little green frog one day. And the little green frog went go lump. But we know frogs go tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la. We know frogs go tra la 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 la. They don't go go lump. Do I look like a frog? A bit, I think. I've got froggy eyes up here, haven't I? And I am definitely green. And I'll show you my froggy feet, if I can get my feet up that high. Look at that, I've got webbed froggy feet as well. Fantastic. I'm a very warm frog, I have to say. Right, why don't we do another froggy one? What about three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log? Because I've got these two, Jessie and Jake, and I'm the third one. So let me just put these on my finger and then we will do three little speckled frogs. There we go. Okay, so you hold your fingers up. You could hold three fingers up, couldn't you? Unless you too want to pretend to be a frog. And why wouldn't you? Right, are you ready? One, two, three. Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into a pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were two green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into a pool where it was nice and cool. Then there was one green speckled frog. Yum, yum. Oh, glub, glub. That's me now. I'm going to dive in. Ready? 
one little speckled frog sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. She jumped into a pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were no green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. I'll tell you what, my frog eyes are slipping into my actual eyes. I'm going to have to move them a minute. Here we go. Right, slowly disappear. And that would be a terrible thing, wouldn't it? Right, um, a very clever thing about frogs. Um, they can live on land and in water. Something else is, can do that a bit the same. I'm going to do, um, I had a tiny turtle now. T turtles can't breathe underwater, but they can hold the breath for a long time. It's a good excuse to sing tiny turtle anyway, isn't it? Let's get hold of him. So there's Tiny Turtle, he's going to, I'm going to put him in the bathtub to see if he can swim. He's going to drink up all the water, he's going to eat up all the soap, and then he's going to be sick in bed with a bubble in his throat. And we will go, bubble, 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 one more, bubble, pop! Are you ready with your little finger to be your turtle? I had a little turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water, he ate up all the soap, and now he's sick in bed with a bubble in his throat. Bubble, bubble, two more, bubble, one more, bubble, pop. Very good. Oh, I didn't think of another froggy one. Oh, I know, I know. At the library when we've got shakers, we often do we shake and we shake and we stop. When I say stop, you've got to keep really still like a statue. And I thought we could do that. Like a frog, we could, could say, we hop and we hop and we stop. I'm gonna do it with Henry, you could hop on the floor. I'm gonna go, we hop and we hop and we stop. Keep still, are you ready? One, two, three. We hop and we hop and we stop. We hop and we hop and we stop. We hop and 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 we stop. Now let's shake. We shake and we shake and we stop. Have you stopped? We shake and we shake and we stop. We shake and we shake and we shake and we shake. We shake and we shake and we stop. Very good. Very good. Gosh, I'm getting hot in this frog suit. Um. So we've had turtles and frogs that swim in the water. What about fish now? We could do, instead of one little red fish, let's do a green fish like me. One little green fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little green fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 bubble. Pop. Ready? Get your fish ready to be swimming in the water. Put your hands together like that. Okay? One, two, three. One little green fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little green fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. And two little, let's have brown fish like Henry, I think. Two little brown fish, ready? Two little brown fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little brown fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Now you can choose the third colour. I'll keep quiet and I'll go and you can shout out whatever colour you want for three. Ready? One, two, three. Three little fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Very good. So we've had lots of underwater creatures. Why don't we row on a, the, uh, on a boat on top of the water now? Let's sing some different verses. We always sing the same verses. Instead of the crocodile, why don't we see um, a polar bear? Row, row, row the boat gently down the river. If you see a polar bear, don't forget to shiver. Because polar bears are a bit like Henry, but they're white and they live in very cold parts of the world. So let's try that one. Hop into your boat with your grown up or your cuddly. Are you ready? One, two, three. Row, row, row your boat gently down the river. If you see a polar bear, don't forget to shiver. <clears throat> and row, row, row your boat gently to the shore. 
If you see a lion there, don't forget to roar. Can I have a roar, Simon? Roar. <laughs> Ready for that one? One, two, three. Row, row, row your boat gently to the shore. If you see a lion there, don't forget to roar. Roar. <clears throat> well, actually, I think Simon's roar was better than mine that time. Okay, you sit there a minute, Henry. Now, as I said, I do know I look silly. I do. And so why not, I thought, sing the silliest song I know, which is The Princess Pat. If you come to the library at yeah, and you'll know this is a, an echo song. I sing a line to you with actions, and you sing the same line back to me. Um, and I keep quiet on that one. Now, I'm not going to teach you all the actions because I'm, I'm going to be doing them as we go through. So I'll do a line with actions and then I'll keep quiet and you copy me whatever I just did, you do it next. Are you ready? It starts like this. The Princess Pat, are you ready? One, two, three. The Princess Pat lived in a tree. She sailed across the seven seas. She sailed across the channel too. And she took with her a rick of bamboo. A rick of bamboo. Now, what is that? It's something made by the Princess Pat. It's red and gold and purple too. That's why it's called a rick of bamboo. Ooh, do you know that was really hard for me not to keep on singing all the way through? I wish I could hear you all singing. I did think of asking, in fact, I did ask Simon if he would join in, but he said no. He said no. It's probably as well. He's got a very deep voice. Be like um, Barry White does rhyme time without the soul. <laughs> Sorry, Si. Right, okay, so now we are going to do a different sort of goodbye rhyme because I think it might be about time to say goodbye. So we're going to do bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as, and as I'm dressed as a frog, let's say as croakily as we can. I'll just see if I can say goodbye croakily. Goodbye. Oh, well, I can. Ready? We start clapping. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam like that. Ready? One, two, three. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as croakily as we can. Goodbye. It's quite good. Okay, so before we just do our final goodbye rhyme, I do want to have a quick word, just a quick few things to say to your grown-ups about why I keep going on about how important rhymes are. It's not just my opinion, experts say the same. And I'll tell you why. Rhymes are, the rhythm of rhymes really catch children's imagination, gets their baby's imagination, gets their attention. That's one thing. Two things. The way rhymes keep repeating within themselves and also how we keep on saying them over and over again helps language development in really small children and later on literacy even because children get to sort of decode words when they're hearing the same sound over and over again like cat and mat. It sounds the same. They learn it spells the same though in English actually there's a lot of tricksy words that aren't but the simple ones do so there's that. Also, they sort of naturally learn communication skills through rhymes, joining in with rhymes like this, like taking turns um, and joining in. Princess Pat's a good example of that. And, and I think this is really cool, they are portable playthings because you don't need to pack them away or anything or pay any money for them. You've always got them. You can sing them anytime, anywhere. Like in a queue, for example, if you happen to be in any queues at the moment. So that's why I keep on and on about it. Really important. That's enough wittering from me, Mrs Frog. We're now going to do our real goodbye song where I'm going to reach down and touch my froggy feet, then my knees, my froggy chest, not my nose, tickle my tummy, hold my hands high, and then I'm going to wave bye-bye. Are you ready? Everybody touch your toes. Oh, I can't say a thing. Everybody touch your knees everybody touch your chest don't touch your nose 
tickle your tummy, hold your hands high, everybody way. Bye bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us. Keep rhyming. Keep rhyming. Keep sharing books. And we'd love to see you back in the library whenever we can. Not at the moment, but hopefully soon. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye from me. And bye bye from Henry.